Hi, and welcome to another MI How To video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today's How To, we're gonna show you how to assemble bucket elevator chain. Helping me out is Ray Hensley. He is with Reynolds Jeffrey. Ray, welcome, how you doing? Thank you, Tom, good, you? Good to have you here, man. I am doing well, and I'm excited because we got lots of big things on the uh, on the counter here. We got hydraulic something, one or another, and uh, <laughs> I like that now. But you, you've been doing stuff like this for like 30 years, so yes. you know you're, yeah. you're you probably have seen a lot of different types of chain. I've seen you? a lot of different applications, and some of the biggest challenges customers have is when the chain gets bigger, it becomes tougher to assemble the chain in the field. Yeah. Now you brought you brought a smaller chain as well. I did. I did. I brought a uh, smaller piece of chain, so to just put it in reference to the difference in size of chains. Now, this is a typical. Uh, power transmission roller top chain that okay. you see on a typical drop. Okay. But when you get into these bigger chains, like right. a cement elevator chain, right. uh, it becomes tougher to put the pin in. Okay, So if you'll see here, you can see that we've got this pin started into the chain, but it's not completely pressed in yet. Okay. So if you look at the chain pin, okay. you'll see the head, the shank, and right. the body. Yeah, there's a different size right there's there. There's a you different size than that. You, you can it. see that. Okay. So the pin goes into the chain, right. but then you'll, you'll need to press into this side plate here, completely up against the shank, up to the bottom of the head and it presses through this side plate here as well, okay, by design. Sledgehammer? You'll be working a long time with a sledgehammer. Yeah. Okay? So you're looking at about 40,000 pounds per square inch to assemble this pin into this chain. Seriously? Yes, it takes wow. a lot of pressure to put it in. By design, five to 10 thousandths interference for greater fatigue life. You maintain a high price fit in these cement elevator chains, you get better fatigue life, means longer service life. Well, like, like how much longer? If somebody wants to compromise the pin because they, you know, they want to use a sledgehammer. What are we talking about? That's a good question. <clears throat> Let's say, for example, this chain lasted 10 years in service. Right. By modifying this pin, you could cut the life in half. The pin starts wow. to work, fidget, and move because the customer would grind down the shank or grind okay. down the body, so it's easier to put the pin in. Okay, and that's a lot of money. That's a lot of Five money. Five years worth of time on a big chain yes, like this. Yes, especially. These chains can be very, very expensive. Okay, so we want to do it right, and you want, want to do it, it safe, too. Absolutely. Okay, so speaking of safe, what do you say we put on our PPE? And uh, you should do the same thing as well for whatever the job calls for. Make sure you're wearing the proper PPE for this one. I've got my uh, safety glasses on, you got yours on. Okay, tell me the setup we have here and what we're gonna do because something tells me that I I've got some work that I've you got, got to do. You've got some here. work to do, Tom. Okay. okay, so we've got the, what we've done here, we just actually transferred it here. Okay. okay, so same setup. You can see the chain pin in the, starting into the chain here. Yeah, I can same see that. setup here. Right. But this is a proper tool to be able to use in the field. Now, you can use a, a uh, hydraulic pump like this, or you right. can use an electric one or so forth, it doesn't matter. But the proper thing to do is to put the pin in, like mm -hmm. you see here, yeah. run it up to where the shank is. Now you can go ahead and use a cylinder to press the pin in completely. So how, how oh, that's kind of hard already. Okay. Now Tom, what you want to do is you want to press that pin in until you see the, uh, the pin go all the way up to against the uh, surface of the side plate. So gotcha. you'll see the head flush with the edge of the side plate, the surface of the side plate. Okay. So we got we can we can look at both sides. You can yeah. see that it's pressed up against the head of the pin. Yeah. And then you look to this side, you can see the cotter hoe is clear through the edge of the side plate on this side here. Okay. Uh, once you've done that, you check everything, everything's like it should be. Then you can take your cotter, as you see right here in the front, uh -huh. and you'll just put your cotter in, bend the leg of the cotter, and you've assembled the chain pro properly. And we've done it right. You've done it right, okay. safely and correctly. And that's what we want to do. Well, Ray, thank you very much, man. Thank Good you very stuff. Much, Tom. I thank appreciate you. that. It's gonna be a couple minutes. I'm a little winded. Wow. But you know what? That's uh, the way you do it properly. So if you have any questions, you can contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. They'll be able to help you out. And uh, you know what? This was pretty cool. And if you want to see great videos like this, go to mihowto.com, and you can find other great videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. As you notice, PPE. Make sure you wear the right PPE each and every time, whatever the job calls for. We'll see you next time.